How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's well. My state is up and running. Everybody's back to their jobs. The auto plants are all open. The parts plants all open. The barber shops and beauty shops and restaurants are now open. Been open for a couple of days. Everybody's getting back to work and getting on with their lives. And I've been collecting my rents on time, so I'm in a good mood. Well, like I told you, we're having a little bit of deflation. So my wife and I traded in a 17-year-old Honda Pilot for a used car. We didn't want another new car. So we shopped around and shopped around. We test rode the CRV, the HRC by Honda. The HRC is a piece of crap. I'm real disappointed in Honda. Like I said, my Honda Pilot that I traded in was 17 years old with 160,000 miles. And it never gave me a minute of trouble. But the CRV, the HRC, I think that's right, HRC is a car with no power. The CRV is a lot nicer. The only problem I have with it, it has a dream engine. I think it's called an Earth Dream engine. I don't know if they switched them over or not, but uh, they have a, uh, a dilution of the oil problem where it mixes in with gas, causing parts on the engine to go bad quicker. It's called oil, oil dilution. Uh, but we uh, shopped around test row, got prices where we wanted them, and we ended up getting a Lincoln MKC Reserve fully loaded. It's their smaller SUV with a turbo 2.0. It weighs heavy. My wife is going to use this car for work, which is quite a bit of ways from us. So I wanted something heavier with airbags all the way around as much as possible. And that gave pretty good fuel mileage. It's not quite as large as the Kia Sorento. We, we test drove. Well, we didn't even test drove. We, uh, got in this uh, Sportage, the smaller SUV, and it sucked. I didn't even like sitting in it. We just went back and gave the guy the keys. But uh, we got a 2017 MKC Reserve with under 8,000 miles for under $25,000. This car, well, this SUV, when it was on the lot, was 42.5. So we feel like we got a, a great deal. There's not a mark on the vehicle, and we wanted to do it before inflation started hitting and used cars were flying off the lot. They had a good selection. I've looked in Florida, Alabama, and all around. And this is what we ended up with. It's got even a garage door open, opener in the sun visor. Opens my garage door. It does everything. But under 8,000 miles, it still had the warranty. I added six more years to the warranty with full maintenance. So I don't even have to pay for oil changes in six years. So hopefully the engine holds up. It drives as smooth and as quiet as can be. This is only the second luxury vehicle. And this is considered a luxury SUV uh, by Lincoln uh, that we've had in 36 years. The Honda Pilot was the only other one. But we're enjoying it. And uh, like I said, inflation is starting to hit. You're starting to see prices go up slowly but surely. Oh, we got down the oil, uh, gas prices here around 89 cents. They're $1.30 to $1.50 now. Even though the oil pro crude oil price is around $30 a barrel. The true cost of gasoline right now should be a dollar five or a dollar ten in my area. But with all the spending and trillions and trillions of dollars, the value of your dollar is slowly being eroded away. So if you need a big ticket item, folks, go out there and get it now. It's coming. You can't spend and be almost thirty trillion dollars in debt without it affecting your currency. So get it while you can. The other thing I wanted to touch base on was alpha males and alpha females. And oh, elbow. Who's a fake male? Not even, he's not even a beta, he's below beta. An alpha female would be like Pauline. 
Aloha, who I enjoy her channel. We comment back and forth. She lives in one of the most beautiful areas of the world where property values for a half acre is probably over $2 million. But yet, the man in the tin can wants to badmouth her because she streams him from time to time. It's just advertisement, dude, just like I'm doing. She doesn't hate you. In fact, she's trying to educate you, but you won't listen because you're too dumb. He considers himself an alpha male because he yells and screams and he treats women like crap. So that's his definition of an alpha male. Colleen's an alpha female because she worked and now she's living on a pension in the most beautiful parts of the world, Hawaii. And she does her own thing. She lives by herself. She supports herself. And she's enjoying her retirement. Unlike the bum in the van who won't even have a retirement. So Colleen's an alpha female in my eyes and Elvis is below beta. Let me give you some definitions of an alpha male, bozo. An alpha male is persistent. There's no quit in this man. Meaning like your truck driving job that you quit. You couldn't handle it. You're a quitter. How many security guard mall cop jobs have you had? I've been fired from. Alpha male can defend himself and his family. He can handle himself with his fist. You're no alpha male. We've seen you run from women on the interstate and you're nothing but a cop caller and a collar. How about Tasha? All the cops ran. Hmm. An alpha male is in peak physical shape. You're no alpha male. He is strong and athletic. That's not you. That's just the opposite. Like I said, you're below beta. An alpha male is courageous. He doesn't lack fear. But unlike you, who is in a parking lot with a woman screaming in some vehicle, asking for help, you took off and ran. You didn't even spend the time to dial 911 to lend a hand to the poor woman while she's probably getting the hell beat out of her. You took off and ran. No alpha male. Nope. No alpha male at all. An alpha male is humble. He can laugh at himself. Not you. You're braggadocious. You brag about everything about yourself. It's all about you. That's not the definition of an alpha male, bozo. An alpha male is humble. Doesn't brag. An alpha male, an alpha male is learned and educated and tries to educate himself. But unlike you, who people have to work on your vein, you can't even change the brake shoes. You won't even watch the mechanic or coach while he's working on your vehicle, or even Rosie when she was working on the interior to learn anything about wiring, running wire, connecting connections. No, you didn't even try to educate yourself. You can't do hardly anything on the van but wax it. And it takes you three months to even wax a van that should take a few hours. An alpha male is a man. Man, well, that's not you either. You don't hang with real men. Your so-called friends aren't really friends there, Bozo. Friends wouldn't keep egg egging you on to continue doing the slop that you're doing. They would try to help you and get you on a path where you can have a life, possibly a family, possibly some retirement but not your friends. They Google and laugh at you. Yeah, you're just nothing but a joke to them. You use them and they use you, but they do nothing to better you. They just continue the old circus freak show while they can. An alpha male has purpose and saves money for his retirement and his family's retirement. That's not you. What is your purpose? How have you bettered your life? 
How have you educated yourself so that one day you won't have to be dependent on others to take care of you? You have no retirement, no social security to speak of. You'll probably get a couple hundred dollars a month of this little security job you have. You're not an independent male, you're a dependent male. And you'll always will be dependent unless you get off your ass and do something with your life. An alpha male is a hard worker. He knows that nothing great is accomplished without hard work and a de definite purpose. That's not you. Straight up beta with you. You don't work hard at anything. What you do is eat, sleep, and jack off all day, and that is your total existence. Besides running your mouth, living in some unrealistic world where you're a celebrity. On the scale of YouTube, you're nobody. You're like the rest of us. You're at the bottom of YouTube. I've been in side chats where there were over 2,000 people funneling money into the side chat. On the scale of YouTube, you're a nobody, and you're going to continue being a nobody. Your view count is basically the same as it's been three years ago. 400 to 3,000 views per video. You're never going to be in the class of 10,000 views, 20,000 views per video. You may get lucky and get one viral video. But people like you and like myself on YouTube will never be big. Never. We don't offer the content that makes a big channel. Most people hate watch you and your numbers are fake just like your channel's fake. You have a fake wrestling stick. I'm styling and profiling, folks. Yeah, only in your head. Nope, no alpha male, straight up beta. You've, your sub count is fake because you block trolls. They go get a new screen name and resub to your channel to make fun of you. So it gives you a fake sub count. And I've seen you add subs on your channel. Somebody was. It's very easy to notice when you look at the same time as Social Blade. I would think that you probably got under 4,000 real subs and 80% of those are trolls or new people who don't know anything about you. An alpha male has style and class. He takes pride in his looks. Not you. Straight up beta. You don't take pride in your looks. Not at all. You look like what you are. A bum infested with insects. Because you shave every body hair off your hair, off your body. It wasn't for dandruff for dry skin. It was because you know you got bugs. And I've shown it on many videos. An alpha male helps other and he's generous. If you're not generous, you're as stingy as can be. You have even said minimum wage workers like waitresses and waiters, you don't tip. You don't tip the poor people. You'd rather eat at some place where you go get your own food so you don't have to tip. You haven't helped anybody that I wrote. No, no, no. Whose van has you worked on? Huh? An alpha male respects women. Well, that makes you straight up beta. You don't respect women. You can just look at what you said about Colleen calling her after. And we've seen it in many, many, many videos. You disrespecting women, even talking about cutting a woman's head off. I don't even think you like women. An alpha male doesn't try to announce to the public that he's an alpha male. Well, that's not you. That's all you do is run your mouth living in some fantasy world in your brain, thinking you're an alpha male and have to tell everybody. So from what I can tell, 
You don't fit the definition of an alpha male bozo. You're below beta. Colleen is an alpha female because she cares for herself and knows how to. And you live in a tin box while she lives in one of the most beautiful parts of the world. Think about it, bozo. Enjoy your bed bugs in your tin box. Maybe you can yell and scream and tell them you're a YouTube celebrity. <laughs> Maybe they'll show you some love. Bye-bye now. <laughs>